My dream GPUs are just around the horizon and I've got a ton of information to share about them. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the the link in the description below. Okay, so there's a couple of new GPUs that will be allegedly launching very soon, and if they do end up actually coming out, well, these are definitely the graphics cards that I would be purchasing if I was looking to spend probably eh, around less than a thousand dollars on a graphics card, which let's be honest, these days is not getting any easier. Anyway, let's talk about these GPUs. So this actually first started, I started thinking about this because, well, some information came out from a videocards.com article, which links to a post coming from the Twitter user Hayes over on, I guess, X now. And he states, quote, what high-end Intel DGPU are they talking about? And he does actually link some information that was posted by Intel. You can go ahead and read it if you want, but the TLDR is effectively that Intel is gonna be looking for some people to work on an upcoming Intel dedicated graphics card, which appears to be effectively a gaming GPU for a desktop PC. So this is definitely gonna be something that is gonna be geared towards an Intel Arc Battle Mage, you know, B770, B780, C770, C780. So they are definitely going full steam ahead when it comes to the Intel Arc gaming GPUs. And that got me thinking, you know, with this right around the corner and the RTX 50 Super Series right around the corner, you know, these are definitely gonna be some great GPUs, but which one is going to be the better choice? Well, let's go ahead and take a look and break down all the specs, the price and the performance of these GPUs, as well as the release date to try and figure out which of these GPUs is going to be the best, or maybe they're both. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So first starting off with the Intel Arc B770 and B780. If you haven't seen the specs before, we are expecting these to go up from the roughly 20 XE units, or you can think of them as the GPU cores, all the way to 28 on the B770, or whatever they end up calling it, and 32 on the B780. Now, most of the specs are gonna be pretty similar. However, the cache is going up, and the memory is going from 12 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes now on these GPUs, affording you a pretty substantial bandwidth jump, as well as, of course, total amount of textures that can be loaded into the GPU, allowing you to finally max out all your games at a reasonable price in theory. But in any case, moving on, we do next have to talk about the RTX 50 Super Series because we have a similar amount of rumors coming out about those GPUs, and it's all pointing towards a pretty soon release date for that one as well. And this will include the RTX 5080 Super, the 5070 Ti Super, and the 5070 Super, at least according to the most recent leaks and rumors. And if those turn out to be true as well, well, I want to focus in on the RTX 5070 Super and 5070 Ti Super. Now, the 5070 Ti Super, I mean, we're talking about a GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but to be honest with you, the 5070 Ti and the 5080, well, they pretty much already have enough video memory, at least in my opinion, for the performance of those GPUs at 16 gigabytes. Yes, 24 gigabytes is better. It will last longer, but at a certain point, the GPU itself will become the bottleneck first, and that's why I'm more excited about the 5070 Super. Take a look at these specs. So the 5070 Super is allegedly gonna have a few more GPU cores, a little bit higher boost clock speed, and here's the big one. It's gonna be moving from 12 to 18 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, all of this, does mean that the 5070 Super will effectively be, let's be honest, what the 5070 should have been at launch. A GPU with effectively no compromises in the vast majority of games at a reasonable cost. Speaking of cost, let's move on and finally jump into that because starting off with the Intel Arc B770, I'm actually expecting this thing to come in at around 52% more performance than the A770 at $349, launching potentially as early as quarter four of 2025 this year, or possibly quarter one of 2026. Likewise, the same release date with the B780. However, this one I'm expecting to be around 74% faster than the Intel Arc A770, their previous flagship GPU it'll be replacing. And this time, I think it's gonna jump from the 349 of the A770 
to 399 or potentially as high as 429 but i think that would be pretty much the limit for a card like this and let's go ahead and compare this to the 5070 super now the 5070 super is also going to be i think a highly desired card because while the intel arc b770 b780 will have 16 gigabytes of vram well the 5070 super will have just a little bit more at 18 making it just a little tiny bit more future proof and with it coming in likely at the same msrp of 540 $49 if you can get it for that at launch. Well, with a release date likely targeting quarter one of 2026, we're talking about a similar release time and not too far off in terms of price versus the B780. But in terms of the performance, take a look two and a quarter times more performance roughly than the a770 that would put it at potentially around 20 percent faster maybe even more could be 25 percent faster than the intel arc b780 so even if it is only 20 percent 20 percent is going to be substantial at this price range but it will be coming in at a more expensive 550 versus potentially 400 if everything goes to plan based on what I've seen thus far. So if that's the price range that they're both targeting, 20% more performance for 38% more money, yes, that is gonna be kind of a lopsided deal there unless Intel goes for, again, 430 or maybe even higher on their card, meaning that you will be paying more and getting a worse deal in theory with the 5070 Super, assuming you can even get it for 550. And I think on launch, 600 will be more common. However, we're talking about two cards at decent prices, giving you both a good amount of VRAM, a good amount of AI performance, and good upscaling options with DLSS and XESS. Now, NVIDIA does have more games with DLSS, frame generation, etc. However, Intel, I do suspect, will start to catch up slowly as they get more adoption with the B770 and the B780. And that's why these two cards, the, or I guess you could say these three cards, the 770, the 780, and the 5070 Super, are the cards I'm most looking forward to in 2026, because it'll all come down to who goes $50 more or $50 less at the end of the day, but I do know that these are likely going to be the targeted price points, and with this amount of performance that we can almost just about guarantee, based on all the leaked specs and rumors out there right now, it is going to be, I think, a tough choice. It's going to be like, do I get a little bit worse value, spend a little bit more money, and get the NVIDIA card with maybe a little bit better features? Or do I get that massive value from Intel? And I think that's gonna be a really tough question, but one thing's for sure, these three cards are going to absolutely decimate the mid-range right now, which has some pretty anemic options with stuff like the RTX 5070. And if you can get anything from AMD anywhere close to MSRP, there's an option as well. And yeah, these three cards are gonna be a massive upset at the targeted price points, assuming they hit those price points and performance targets that we're all expecting. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 5070 Super is a better choice or the B780 or the B770? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.